here they come. Absolute fan favorites here in South River, New Jersey. All-Star Lou and Spartan. I hear that a lot of people from the PTA from their high school teach that. Everyone's a little bit upset. Lou off the apron right there with a flying elbow and Jay Reynolds. Snap bear. And Joey B right there. Shooting Spartan off again. Joey goes up. Jumps over him again. Kick. Ooh! Beautifully done. Oh, look at that. Well, it's all legal in this match. You cannot complain at all. I think his head feels. Something tells me crawling is, is nothing new to these racist rednecks and wife beaters. Nice flying crossbody right wait, there. Then yeah. a two count only. Get a cheap victory there. Blue flying missile drop kick from the top. Spartan going for the pin again, trying to end this one early. But it will not be enough. Both these guys, no strangers to brawling in hardcore matches. Who and Spartan were in that TLC death match at Cold Fury against the American Nightmare. Crossbody in the corner right there. In comes Lou with one of his own. And the White Peters themselves, a few months back at Cage Fury, were in that War Games cage match. And now playing the belts in right now to Joey B. Just whipping the hell out of Joey B getting a taste of his own medicine. He, the White Peters were the ones that did request this match and now they're getting exactly what they wanted. Oh uh, look. That's what those parents do when they put him out in the yard. Choking away at All-Star Lou right now. Oh, spine buster right there by Jay Reynolds. I don't think the White Peters are looking to even hurt these guys or maybe they're just looking to end their careers. They're looking to put them out of wrestling permanently. And this is the perfect match to do something like that. An absolute barbaric brutality in this one. The kind of match, ladies and gentlemen, you can only see in Warriors of Wrestling. Nice neck breaker. With the belt assist. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Oh, jeez. Close up right there on the bull shot to the back of Lou. Oh! Double suplex. As I said, this is not going to be pretty. I think Ramos is going for the Hurricane Cronus. Nicely done right there. And that disgusting salute. You really need to bring rednecks into Warriors of Wrestling. I mean, this is... So black power's allowed, Spanish power's allowed, white power. The problem is that these guys are absolute racist. Which is why they had issues with Lou and Spartan to begin with. And Lou trying to fight back with everything he's got right now. Old, 17 rather, excuse me, 17 years old, 
but a four-year pro. And trained since he was 13. Spartan credit where it's due. He used to tag up with a real prissy boy, but found that he wasn't getting the, uh, the action he needed. Him and Lou have been through some wars together, some real vicious battles. Now, the kid may be only uh, 17 years old, but it definitely shows he has heart, but you know, heart is never enough just to win. He's gonna show you heart right here, going to the top. Crowd moving out of the way. Flying crossbody onto the both of the wife beaters. The crowd is electric tonight for All Star Lou and Spartan. Getting the crowd behind him. I can't imagine what he's gonna try here. For Tope. Oh! Flying Pescado. Flying running Pescado to both the white beaters who take out Spartan in the process. This crowd is going insane. Only in Jersey will you find people who go this insane for belts and whips and chains. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'd say only in Warriors of Wrestling, because rumor has it that W.O.W. will be moving outside of the Jersey area. Oh, shit. Indeed, that is true. Warriors of Wrestling looking to expand. We're going to continue to focus on this match right here. Oh, look at his back. You see that? Look at the welts on his back. It's darker than the kids that he doesn't support. Shut up. Miles has him up. As he... Oh, power to run into the chairs. Yeah, I think you're putting Lewis down. I gotta say, Lou and Spartan do not throw it. While they're no strangers to a match like this, they don't thrive in it. They are wrestlers. They are high flyers. They know what they're doing in the ring. But this match is way more suited for the wife beaters. Lou and Spartan in weapons matches is like Ric Flair on the top. Of it. And there's the suit. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Big leg drop on a Spartan. This could be all. Spartan is out. Ooh, double noggin knocker. I don't know what to lose. This guy's like 120 pounds. I don't know what he's thinking. Taking on two guys that weigh more than twice his weight at the same time. Well, coming in and make the save with a super kick right there. He's got Joey in the corner. Ten punches to Joey B in the corner right there. And Lou goes right for that belt, right back to Jay Reynolds. Lou and Sporting back with the advantage here. He's putting the boots to Joey in the corner. Jeez. Running knee into the corner, ladies and gentlemen. There could not be more that these guys can take. He's going for the Spartan Plow. Oh, Spartan Plow right onto Joey B's neck. Spartan now headed up to the top rope. This could be all. Yeah, that was a modification of the Joey drop. I heard rumors that Joey's actually his biological father. Flying splash from the top. Lou hits a DDT there. Now Lou going to the top. Now this is where Lou and Spartan thought... The, the Canucks are hitting the ring. Oh. It's legal in a strap match. Canucks grab Spartan. And they're beating him down on the outside. Lou trying to help his partner. Not paying attention to what's going on in the ring. Not a smart move as you'll see right here. Domestic violence turns Lou inside out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The Canucks for some reason coming out to give the wife beaters the win. I don't know how much rednecks like people from Canada, but something tells me this goes a little bit more personal than just who would sport the Canucks. 